So to prep your caliper for the ceramic, here I'll draw a line because make sure you know it's dirty. Yep, that's dirt. I'm going to put on some PNS uh, brake and wheel clean. I'm going to use a little purple power. This is uh, obviously a bit beat up. And then uh, there's some car soap down here underneath. We're going to clean this all up. We'll dry it off and then we'll show you how to apply the ceramic coat. Now, why apply ceramic coat to a caliper that's going to get dirty? Because I don't do wheels off caliper cleaning very often. I don't know if you do. If you do, more power to you. And so the better a chance I have of sheeting water on there and the ceramic coat kind of letting the dirt fall off a little easier, that's why I do it. And because I've got the car up and wheels off already, or at least I had two of them for the exhaust, just pulled off these fronts too. And who doesn't enjoy some uh, caliper porn, right? Look at those six pot beauties. going to use a glove because I don't want to get that ceramic stuff all over my fingers. Meanwhile, while I do this, I'm very impressed with the state of the axle mount. I think it's a beauty. And I'm using the C5, probably not showing up real well, C5 wheel armor from G Technic, Technique, I'll be afraid of it. These are little diamond glass cloths because I ran out of basically the little, uh, what are they called, like cotton pads that your wife or you may use for your makeup or makeup removal. Um, I just have these on me right now. And then I'm gonna buff off with a microfiber that I will wind up disposing of because it once this ceramic stuff sets, all of this needs to be thrown away because it will become essentially glass-like. Now you can use like a sponge applicator onto one of these, but because there's so many angles and edges in here, I'm just gonna use my fingers, which will be a better way to get into these creases. Put a few drops on and just start applying. And it will flash out in a minute or two. So basically by the time I'm done applying this, I will expect to be buffing it off already, pretty much immediately. Quite a pleasant smell, it's a little bit minty. 
this inside track here that you can't really see on camera is normally the dirtiest part of the caliper and probably the most rewarding to clean. But you definitely want to get the coating in there. And then obviously the, the front face here where you get your glory money shots whenever you wash your car. And this is where you'll get the most value out of the ceramic protection putting on here because it should help cleaning be a little easier, especially if you're just powering it down with a power washer or something. So once you feel like you've got all the nooks and crannies you really care about, you can move to the buff. This will just help take off any high spots that might dry. It should be nice and smooth because you've taken off all of the lumpiness of the application that can occur. So there's a short video on how to get your calipers clean when your car is in the air and stuck in the air because you're waiting for parts. Be memorable. Be well. See you on another video soon.